Hello, this is Team Lowe with Comps of X. Hope you're doing well today. Again, some good trades. Taking a look at the dollar Swiss, let me give you my thoughts going into the end of the week because some anticipate the dollar Swiss to probably fall back down because it had such a strong move up this week. However, there's indication that the dollar Swiss can continue rising, and I want to share with you some of the reasons why. Simply looking at the dollar Swiss, we've seen it have a very strong move up. As a matter of fact, right now resting right around that third extension high for the week. Typically, when I see the market move up to the third extension high based upon the average daily range calculator, I usually see the market work its way back down towards the second or the first extension high. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not in this case. When you look at the this low to this low in price, and then look at the Traders Dynamic Index from this low to this low, what we have here is hidden divergence. When you have higher lows in price, lower lows in your uh, oscillator, be it the Traders Dynamic Index or whatever oscillator you may be using, this is an indication for the market to continue in the direction it's been going. So what we may have happen is we have a little range here from this high to this low is about a 40 pip range. The market could sit in this range and we could just kind of go up and down for a little while as the Traders Dynamic Index uh, the, the three lines here all converge back down towards the 50 level and then we see a push back higher. Where to? Well if you take a look at the daily chart back in December we hit a high back here of 93.80. Now before we make a shot up there I think we're going to fall back and I'll explain where we could possibly see some additional buying in the marketplace before heading up to 93.80. Now going back to September and October we made moves up to the 94.20 area. And then in November, we saw moves from 94.20 all the way up to about the 9,500 mark and fell off of that. Now, there's something important we need to realize here from an even bigger picture. When you go out to the high that we had back in July of 2012 and you run it across the high that we had in November, if you run it across like so, you can see that the market. Uh, is above this trend line. We may see the market fall back at this trend line. Okay, and that would make that fall back down somewhere near these three lows that we had. This support here, more or less. So old support becomes new resistance. We broke through that. We could see a fall back down. And notice that this is 9240. Going back over here on the dollar Swiss one hour chart, you can see that the 10 day EMA sits right now around 92.32 and the 21 day EMA sits just slightly below that but that is our near term support close to this point right here. So we could see the market slip back down and possibly collect some more buy orders or bids in the market in this 92.30, 92.40, maybe just the 92.50 area, but somewhere right in this area off the first extension high and then a possible bounce back up if we break below this range low that sits right now at about the 92.80 area. So again, we could possibly just float around here, but the thought is that once we broke this trend line and if we can make a higher high, then we're on our way up to 93.80. Again, coming back down, testing uh, this trend line right around the 92.52. Now, one of the drivers of the dollar Swiss right now, again, is not necessarily strength in the dollar or definite weakness in the Swiss franc alone. It has a lot to do with the Euro Swiss. We've seen the Euro Swiss this week make a phenomenal move up uh, well beyond its average daily range. Uh, average daily range here is now 81 pips, which was much lower before. But this week, we opened up the week right around the 2180 mark, and we pushed up uh, and and reached up almost to 230 pips for the week before selling out right now. Now again, there's a situation where the market's kind of up and down. Notice how it's just kind of up and down right here and notice what's taking place with the Traders Dynamic Index. The Traders Dynamic Index was way up high and see how it's gradually moved down and notice how this is coming close to the 50 mark. Take a look at this. See the higher lows and the lower lows 
again a sign of hidden divergence and as I mentioned if the traders dynamic index comes right back down here towards the 50 level and price just kind of meanders up and down in a range that's a push higher we could potentially see this push on up to a level that hasn't been seen in a while we actually have to go out to the weekly chart back on October the 16th 2011 it reached up to a high of 2472 so my thinking is the Euro Swiss is on its way up from where we're currently at around 2365 uh, 2370 area it's got another hundred pips to make a push up to a previous high we'll see what takes place at that point with that given move of an additional hundred pips to the upside there's the possibility of seeing the dollar Swiss make its push on up about another 80 pips or so to reach that 9380 mark possibly before the end of the week well folks this is Dean Malone with Compass FX. I hope some of the information I've shared with you will help you in your trading again look for the Swiss to possibly uh, come down to the 10 day EMA fill some bids and then push higher if not it may just meander in this range and I would suggest look for a break of this range right around that 93.20 93.30 area look for the break of the range and then a push about another 50 pips higher up to 93.80 well folks y'all make it a great week get some good trades we'll talk to you next time bye bye